Hi and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're taking a look at a Brebor calendar watch. Brebor seems to have only this model available and the watch seems and looks like one of those generic AliExpress watches you can order in bulk. That's because it probably is, but unlike some brands hated in the watch community that order generic quartz watches and then charge an arm and a leg claiming they're a great value, Brebor is not only pretty affordable at £99, which is around $130, but is also pretty interesting and complicated. The movement used is probably a seagull movement, although I couldn't figure out which one exactly, and it is really not that pretty, but it is mechanical, or should I say automatic, and it does offer the triple calendar complication with an AM-PM or day-night indicator. And despite the low price, all the subdials are functional. So it really is a triple calendar watch, with only one exception the month subdial that is located at 3 o'clock needs to be manually corrected every month by pressing the lower button, as it's not connected to the rest of the movement. The date at 4.30, however, is fully functional, as is the day of the week subdial at 9 o'clock, while the 6 o'clock subdial shows the same function using two methods. One is the hand that makes one revolution every 24 hours, so you can know exactly the military time equivalent of the main time, while the rotating disc underneath uses visual representation of night and day. For the price, a pretty high level of complication, so I expected the rest of the watch to be subpar. But to my surprise, it is also pretty good for what you pay. The crystal is sapphire and the bracelet is of decent quality featuring solid links, end links and the machined butterfly clasp. Everything is polished which raises the bling factor of the watch and the polishing is not very high end, but that is to be expected. Another surprise is the level of finishing under macro, again something I expected to be pretty bad but in all honesty is pretty good. I mean it's not Grand Seiko level of finishing but it's not terrible either. So, a complicated mechanical watch with decent specs and finishing for a reasonable price. But I do have a few problems with it. First, the overall design. The case at 41mm in diameter should hit my sweet spot, but the proportions are just off-putting, mostly due to the very large and very thick lugs. They just make the watch sit weird on the wrist. Also the bracelet, despite having the right specs and is actually pretty comfortable, it kinda looks cheap and the whole watch as a unit looks cheap and generic. Maybe if they toned down the polishing a bit or slimmed down the lugs, I would like it more, but like this, although I can appreciate what you get for your money, the watch just doesn't sing to me. It does however sing to my wife, who said it is incredibly beautiful, but then again she often says the same about me, so I would take her opinion with a grain of salt. Another thing a bit off-putting is the Brebor homepage. The description of the watch is done without including some details a watch person might like to see, while it is full of generic marketing phrases that seem to have been written by someone who used Google Translate. Also, Brebor themselves called this a chronograph, which it is not, and that makes me question their knowledge about their own product, and also emphasizes the feeling they, they're just a made-to-order watches from China. Despite all the problems I have with it, if you like the look and want mechanical complications at a very affordable price, this watch does offer a lot for the money. Anyways, that completes this week's video, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and until the next video, bye.